Welcome everyone to Disney 100 Final Days Countdown Review. I'm Nicholas Carey and today I'll review my old movie, National Treasure, released in 2004. <laughs> okay, okay, that was... I had to do that. But anyway, so yeah, I'm reviewing National Treasure, released in 2004, starring Nicholas Cage as Ben Gates. Who is this... Do who decided to go find and steal the Declaration of Independence and later go to Liberty Gate to Liberty Bell to steal something else and with the help of Abigail and Riley. However, there are other people that want that treasure and steal it for much evil reasons, and they and that's pretty much the best way to summarize this movie that the movie is about. And they also, uh, Ben has to find some other clues about the treasure that he's targeting at as well throughout the movie. And I, I think this is one of Nicolas Cage's best movies alongside The Rock and Con Air, most re better received ones. Um, I can see why. This movie is a very entertaining uh, action adventure movie where we see Nicolas Cage steal treasure while f f running away from bad guys from before they can steal it. And it made for a very fun adventure, especially with the chemistry that he has with his best friend and later his love interest, Abigail, throughout the movie. And the villains are not so bad. And I do got the father, who I think is played by the same person who played uh, Uncle Ben in The Amazing Spider-Man. Did a good job. And I thought Carry On Moss was interesting, can't, a brief appearance in this movie also. Um, there's a lot of good action sequences in this movie. Where there's the chase scene, but where they try to escape before they can their treasure gets stolen before it gets stolen or the climactic battle at the end um and there i do like how they find ways to get the treasure on it and it's very thrilling about it and nicholas cage has a very good performance in it where he is taking things more seriously and about stealing the treasure and about the Declaration of Independence and Benjamin Frank and the uh, uh, past and Stowe thing about Riley. That was very interesting as well. Um, honestly, for a movie that came out years prior before Uncharted, this movie feels more like Uncharted to me than the actual Uncharted Tom Holland movie, honestly. Just like the tone and and the kind of the music sometimes feels more like an Uncharted adaptation before the Uncharted movie, the movie and the video games even came out. Honestly, and there was also a sequel back in two thousand seven, I believe, and the twenty twenty two Disney Plus show that can't. That immediately got cancelled after one season before we saw Nicolas Cage in the show in season two. Before that was scrapped. And so overall I thought National Treasure was a very fun, thrilling action thrill action adventure. So let me know in the comments below your thoughts on National Treasure.